Hey C3 Kids, welcome to C3 Kids Online. Today, we're gonna to be learning about something new, the fruit of the spirit. Before we get started, why don't we hand it over to Erin and she's gonna say a prayer with you. Hi Kids Church, I'm Erin and this is We want to pray today to thank God for giving us this day. So let's all close our eyes, close our eyes and hold our hands together. You can do it like this or like this. And let's say a little prayer to thank God for giving us the word, which is about the Fruits of the Spirit. Okay, so let's say a little prayer. Dear God, I want to thank you so much for this beautiful day that I can come together with my family at home to learn about the fruits of the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. To eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Oh, yum! I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to wait. What am I doing? This is kids' church, huh? Did you know that in the Bible it talks about fruit? Do you think that the fruit of the spirit would be an apple or maybe a banana? Or what about an orange? Hmm, I don't think that that's what the fruit of the spirit are. Should we look in our Bible today? Okay. In our Bibles, in Galatians 5, 22, it says, But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Hmm, that's a lot of things that grow inside of us. Why don't we look at each one of those and see what they are? Love. Love is an overwhelming feeling or sense of commitment to a person or God. Love involves actions that go beyond kindness, that often involves self-sacrifice and doing things that we don't want to do. Joy. Joy is a happy feeling about something that God did or created. Peace. Peace is solving arguments instead of getting upset. Patience. Waiting for God's timing. Kindness. An action that shows sympathy or understanding towards others. Goodness. Sticking to God's way, especially when others are not. Faithfulness showing you love God in front of others. Gentleness, treating others gently. Self-control, showing discipline, especially when you're frustrated or angry. Wow, they are so many things for us to grow inside of us. Do you think that we'll start to see some of those inside of you? Why don't we go over and listen to a story that Gabby is going to tell us about love. Oh, oh, I'm with you. No, no matter what you do, I am here for you. Hi, C3 Kids. It's Gabby, and I would love to read you a story. The Invisible Tree. There 
There is an invisible tree that lives on the inside of me. It wants to grow big and tall, even though I am very small. There is one thing that I need most. I need it more than tea and toast. Without it, I am very sad. But with it, I am extremely glad. It's not TV, and it's not ice cream. It's not even my brand new laser beam. I found this thing when I was small, when mom would lift me from a fall. When dad came home to rumble and hug and play with me upon the rug. I like it when it's given to me. I feel as happy as can be. But do you know I can give it away? By caring for my friends when we play? By helping my little brother when he cries? And even sharing my french fries? When I think about others as much as I think about me, something special grows on my invisible tree. It's not something you can see. It's big love inside of me. Are you guys ready for this week's fitness challenge? This week we're going to learn a new rhyme and I want you to jump along with your jump ropes. Now if you can't use your jump rope inside, that's okay, you can just jump along to the beat. This is called the Juicy Jumpy Rope Rhyme. In Galatians 5, 22 and 23. The fruit of the Spirit were written for me. Apostle Paul wrote them out. I will say it with a shout. Ready? Yes! Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. All nine fruits were written for me in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Wow, that was so much fun. Let's keep practicing and see how good we get for next week. For you.